Hello, Crankers! It's me, Sergio, and today we are reacting to a review. Someone sent me a video to do a video reaction. I think it's about a workshop medieval uh, review. So let's let's have a look. I have it there, <laughs> so you can watch it with me and let's let's see what happened. Okay, play. Hi everyone, I'm Poppy, Hello. and I'm going to be reviewing the Workshop Medieval Fat Cat Hurdy Gurdy. Okay. This hurdy gurdy was custom made for me from Workshop Good. Medieval, who you can find on Etsy. Etsy. This one uh, runs. A look, um, yeah, let's stop it here. <laughs> uh, we normally advise uh, to be really careful with Etsy, uh, and obviously, mm, yeah, we already know that Workshop Medieval it's not. Uh, great maker, so well, whatever. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what she says. Around twelve hundred dollars, which is twelve hundred dollars. It's more or less like a thousand euros. Okay, it's expensive uh, for what it is, but let's see. It's actually pretty low for a hurdy gurdy model. I am a total well. beginner. I took an interest in the instrument last year and decided that I wanted to invest in one. Um, I okay. wasn't sure I could really justify dropping like three thousand plus dollars on one. Okay, careful with this. You don't have to spend uh, three thousand dollars on a girly. There are a lot of different options uh, under two thousand euros. And actually, um, I know most of you who, who see these videos uh, know it, but Sona uh, made a really good list of makers that can provide girdies for under 2000 so uh, yeah there's no point uh, you don't need to spend 3000 euros or 3000 dollars on a beginner's girdie you can find uh, other options and noticing the price tag is a little wary but i did some research they posted videos of how to send it online and i was actually pretty happy uh, with the potential that this instrument had. Okay, if you are happy with the potential that that instrument has, uh, okay, great. But I think it's uh, because you're a beginner and you don't really know how a hardy guard is supposed to sound or, or to function. And about the research, we advise a lot on the hardy guard community on Facebook and also on this channel, right? No, 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 you, you didn't do. Uh, a proper research. Sorry about this. So I went through and I bought it. Um, it took about three months to have it shipped. Quick. There's a cat. Okay. <laughs> Hello, cat. Uh, but yeah, it's so quick. Uh, so quick. I didn't have much information on Gertie Makers, especially in the US. They're much more popular in Europe. Finding. Okay, that's that's because you didn't do your research <laughs> because we we, we uh, do our effort on the girly community and on this channel to to put out lists of makers under 2000 uh, euros and uh, yeah it's all about research uh, i see the problem comes from there actually Being Gertie makers in the US is pretty difficult i know there's alter wind who i'm really excited to work with in the future okay uh, yes, if you are excited to work with Alter Wind in the future. It's, you're giving me information that you didn't do your research because it's actually another maker that we advise not getting girdies from. They don't even have the, the, the basics right and they're super overpriced for, for what they are. Okay, you bought this uh, workshop medieval. I hope it works for you. I hope it works to start at least um, to, to, you know, to practice some fingers. It could work for that, uh, but no, please don't go to Alter Wind. No, 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 not a good idea. I happened to find this one on Etsy of all places which made me a little wary because I know people are very particular about, you know, they have certain gurdy makers. I did some research. They had videos of their instruments and I thought it sounded pretty good. This is at the end of the reaction. We will compare that, that uh, sounds to other girdies on, on the same price range or even less expensive. 
This is the fat cat model. This is my fat cat who will not stay <laughs> It's off. funny, the name is funny. <laughs> you might notice quickly, if you are a Gertie fan, that this is a left-handed Gertie. Yes. Um, I decided to go with a left-handed Gertie for reasons that I will explain in another video. This is okay. not the time for that. Right now we're <laughs> reviewing the instrument itself. So, um, originally this model came in more of like a leafy green, a lighter green, but I love emerald green and I wanted to see if they could do it in a custom color. So I Yeah, the color, I mean, uh, the aesthetics are okay. Uh, it's obviously a very beautiful color and then, um, yeah, it's like, like, like putty, you know, uh, like green and, and, and that. Okay, I like the aesthetics but uh, let's see the sound. I contacted the shop and I spoke with Katerina, who was their main contact Hello, there. Katrina. She was fantastic. She said, give me samples of the color you want. And Okay, I have to say something about this. The makers can be great uh, as, a, as a human being, like George, like Katrina, if you see me, like Vrabel. Uh, you can be amazing human beings, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you know how to make girdies and that's a big problem and people have misconception about this you can be a very beautiful person but make shit girdies okay let's let's keep watching a couple months later when they were ready to paint and finish it she showed me a sample of the varnish and i was in love i was i was very very excited for it it's beautiful so let's get into the nitty-gritty of the instrument let's start with the strings okay that pop my wheel cover. You'll see that this model has six strings. It has four drones, two up here, two down here, four drones. and two ah. melody strings. It doesn't. Okay, I think you mean it has two drones and then two trumpets. Uh, I know it looks like it doesn't have a dog, but uh, the dog is the piece, the trumpet is the string. So you have two dogs and then two, two trumpets not have a trumpet which surprised me at first no 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 you have a trumpet you don't have a dog the trumpet is a string because <laughs> i didn't really know much about gerties um but i'm actually okay with it i'm not a big fan of the trumpets that's just my personal style okay there are lots of different traditions in the world that really don't use trumpet like like on galicia in Galicia, the traditional Galician Gurdis, they do not use trumpets and they uh, copy more or less the style of ornamentation uh, of the bagpipes, which are also really traditional there. So I'm OK with that. But uh, yeah, personally, I think it's a big part of the Gurdi, hmm? but it's OK. But for other people, that's a big part of what makes Gurdi Gurdi. Yes, so exactly. if you want a trumpet, <laughs> this might not be the model for you. These drones come in a low G and a D. So what I decided to do, decided to be tricky. I tuned one of the Ds up to a C. So I can play it with a C, G combo or a D. Yeah, you, you tune down to a C from D yeah, to, to C, which is normal. Uh, most of us do this. So by default, you know, for example, on my Gertie, I have uh, C drones. Uh, obviously I have more than, than uh, one drone, but one of the strings is C and I return up to D, and sometimes even I, I, I get to E. So yeah, it's it's normal, good idea. EG combo. D C, C, G, no, the other way, G, C. G is the open string, and then uh, C is your root note. Okay, that's the tuning. G slash C. You can watch a video of me talking about that. <laughs> Depending on the song I'm playing, and some drones combos just sound better than others. That's about the only variation I could do. I tried to lower one of the G's to an F and it just really wasn't working. Mm -hmm. exactly. But C, G, D, G, it's great. Oh, another... C, G, D, G. No, no, no. G, C and D, G. Remember, uh, the first letter is the open string and then the second letter, it's not the drone, it's your root note, the third note of the keyboard. So open G, that means root note is C. Open D, that means uh, root note is G. Another trick that I learned with this Gertie, thanks to YouTube, is that I was able to adjust the pressure on my drone strings. Okay, yes, this is uh, a common feature. 
seeing an Allen wrench, I could make them press a little harder against the wheel, which I needed because my drones were sounding a little weak and they just needed a little bit of tweaking. Speaking of which, this Gertie is tuned to a CG tuning, which mm -mm, GC. means that your open melody string is going to be a G. Exactly. Um, there are tunings for Gerties that can be different. You could have an open D, mm -hmm. which is the DG tuning. The G. Either way, um, CG is definitely a good way to start if you are a beginner because the keys will be very much like a piano the way that they're mm -hmm. set up totally agree um this instrument has 21 chromatic keys so not quite two octaves okay i'm missing two or three keys but it's okay i love the lower register but when i get up to around like the b flat a sharp it starts to get a little screechy yet so i'm not a really big fan of of the upper register note. Okay, you're not a big fan of the upper register notes because that girdie doesn't work on the upper register notes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's an issue. It, but it's an issue. Maybe it's an issue of, of the proper of the adjustment of the instrument and also of the building quality. Uh, which eh. I don't generally play that high for the stuff that I do. Not now. But I found that. No. Certain keys up there, not not always the best tones, um, but from like the the A down, it's it's beautiful. It's really nice. So, okay. uh, the melody strings over here are both G's. Now, in order to place them on the wheel, you have to manually unhook them and set mm -hmm. them onto the wheel. Come on, feature exactly. Yep. Easy, a little time consuming, but it allows you to have one melody string on or two. They are mm -hmm. both the same G, so you're not going to have the octave difference like you have on some Gerties. Okay. But it gives you the option to have a more violin tone or to have a, a fuller uh, tone depending on. Okay, normally uh, the unison string adjustment is just to, to have more volume, not to have different uh pressure adjustment and stuff like that uh yeah it, you can actually fit uh, a viola string there to to have your octave tuning but uh, when you go to the adjustment part and then you try to um to tune one string to the other one then you are going to have problems and this is because of the quality of the instrument the kind of song you're playing the only downside that I see to these hooks is that um, I'm noticing like it's starting to cause little grooves in the string. So I'm concerned that that's something that could lead them to eventually break. Um, yes, you're right. Uh, yes, totally, totally right. Mm, a, a good solution for this, it's using thermoretractile tube. Uh, how you call it in the US? Shrinking tube, it's called in the US. So you put some shrinking tube on the support, then you burn it and then that will protect the string from from the breakage. Um, so be really, really careful when you're hooking on your melody strings and removing them. I also noticed... Yes, uh, no, you, you can't be careful when engaging a string because normally while you play, you are engaging and also disengaging the octave string if you, if you have it. You don't have it, but you could have it. So yeah, you cannot be <laughs> really careful when doing that. With this instrument, I need to tune it every single time I play. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't hold the notes all that great, but you know. Yeah, that's also because of the quality of the instrument. So it's another factor that uh, tells you that, yeah, it's not a, a very good instrument. But as a musician, you should be tuning every session anyway. So meh. when they sent me. Yes, but the tuning stability is so important because you don't want your girdie to, to be out of tune every song you play or every three songs you play. You, you want it to be stable. Uh, that's another factor that is telling you that this instrument is not great. So I, at this point, we listed <laughs> like lots of, of things, so I, I wouldn't be recommending that to, to a beginner. I understand you are recommending this because you are a beginner and you don't really know uh much about girdies mm, but yeah it's i'm making this video reaction not because i have anything uh bad with you 
but I think your video can confuse uh, beginners and that's what I try to avoid. <laughs> so yeah, it's another indicator that the quality is not, not good. This skirty, they sent it with cotton applied. No tall you newbies out there like me. Take a photo of the cotton and see how much cotton they have on each string and make... <laughs> yes, always try to put a uh, little cotton, uh, little cotton, not too much, because then you will have adjustment problems. Uh, you can watch my videos about cottoning. <laughs> a note of that because I didn't do that and for a while I was putting too much cotton on the strings yes. and I just kind of needed to figure out for myself that less yes when you put too much cotton you normally get that prrr kind of sound if you beginners out there have this problem this prrr sound when you turn the manivel it's probably because you have too much cotton it's more but the drones need more than the melody strings and yeah, yes. it's, it's a balancing act now let's move on to the key chest so okay. we do unhook and you can see they have mark mm, it has a hook there it reminds me to ravel <laughs> marker workshop medieval model fat cat number 183 2020 because that's when it 183 183 girdies from workshop medieval out there well, it was finished. So in your key chest, you'll find all your tangents. When I first received this model, one of the tangents had broken during shipping, which kind of sucked. Another factor that tells you this instrument, it's not uh, good quality and maybe you shouldn't be recommending it. Sadly, uh, yeah, tangents don't really break during ship shipping. It, it, it makes no sense to me. Mm, I don't understand. Um, I notified Katerina and she's sending me new ones. It's fine. And then within five days, another tangent broke. Uh, what I ended up doing. Why? Why, 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 why did it broke? While you were playing, it broke. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry. Again, it's, it's, it, this is shocking me. Like you were playing and, and the tangent broke and you're recommending the instrument. No tangents don't break. It's not normal doing was I bought some fresh metal tangents from Alterwind in Oregon. The... <sighs> so you bought tangents from Alterwind? Okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. Tangents that come on this model, they're these hollow style tangents, which have a pretty nice rich tone, I will say. Now this tangent is the one I got from Alterwind as a replacement. Um, I find that the tune of this tangent on this particular string not the best choice, so I'm really glad that I'm getting some replacements. Um, maybe when you buy yours, you might want to consider asking for a couple replacements just in case. I chose... Okay, uh, I cannot see the tangents on, uh, on your video because I have you really small, but I will check them at the, at the end of the video and tell you what I think metal tangents instead of wood ones because I prefer more modern sounds to my Gertie. It's just a matter of personal preference. It is a little more expensive to do metal than wood. However, it's really easy to just unscrew a tangent, replace it with another one if, if something breaks. It's not only tangents that produce the, the modern sound. It's more about the whole construction of the instrument. I don't think uh, the workshop medieval instruments sound on the modern concept. Uh, but okay, yes. Um, there's a very clear hole where the screw goes. You can also adjust the pitch a little bit if you need to move the, the tangent uh, further up or down. Um, this was really important when I had to replace the tangents with a different model of tangent because they don't align the same. So I. Yeah, it, that's terrible. All, all, all the tangents have to touch the string at the same time, otherwise you're getting terrible adjustment problems. It's, it's, it's very important. I had to make some adjustments, otherwise some of my notes sounded really off. Yes. But I learned. One little quirk that's happened with this Gertie, and I'm sure it's just this particular instrument. I, I don't think this is something that, that happens with other models. Um, but let me tell you what happened and how I fixed it. So okay. I noticed that my, my G sharp, my A flat, this very first key here, um, when I have the key chest closed, 
the button would stick. It would just stay up like this when I... Sticky keys. Mm. I don't know why you say it's only on your Gurdy. This is uh, probably a uh, control quality fault. So again, I don't understand why you are recommending this Gurdy. With all these uh, factors that we uh, just seen, uh, maybe, maybe you have a sticky key or maybe it's touching the lead. I don't know. Let's see what you say. I would play it and I would have to manually push it down. Yeah. That was a real problem because mm -hmm. then you're, you can't hit that low G. Yeah, you cannot play. <laughs> Which is my bass note for a lot of the songs that I play. So I learned that if I kept the key chest open like this, then the key would drop back down. When That's exactly what I said. Uh, it, it was the, the tangent was touching the lead. And yeah, that's not normal. And that's a quality control fault. So yeah. And that was done. Thing is like, I don't want to walk around with an open key chest no. every time I go. <laughs> so what I realized I had to do was to close it just a little bit. Just had to hook in just the very tip of the lock and that. Key. No, 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 no. That's not, that's not the solution. Take the, take the tangent out and then you can file the top hmm, on, a, on, a, on a belt sander or just with sanding paper. Shh, 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 shh. That's it. Hmm? Or maybe if it's a lot of material, you can cut uh, a little bit the, the, the top part. Uh, yeah. So having your, having your chest open, your key chest open, it's not, not the way keeps the chest closed, but it also still allowed that key to drop back down. I gotta say, you know, for 1200 bucks, I got some pretty decent quality. No, uh, no, sorry, but no. For 1200 bucks, you got what you got. And if you would do uh, more research and go into the groups, watch more videos, uh, read a bit more, uh, then you would have uh, much, 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 much better instrument. Also a Gordy by Gordy Staruch, for example, which they retail for about 700 and something dollars and they actually work. Uh, that one has a lot of issues and you are even confessing that. So I, I, again, really, I don't have anything uh, bad with you, uh, but I, I, I no, I cannot understand why you are recommending this to beginners. Like, no, it's a no. Is it the top of the line? Is it the best sounding Gertie in the no. world? No, but I think it's a really solid choice if you are a novice. No, if you're a novice, don't buy this. Uh, don't buy this. <laughs> Please don't buy this. Okay. At the end of the video, uh, I will be comparing different uh, sound samples. And I will be telling you the price tag so you can compare yourself. Okay. You try to help beginners, but a, a beginner trying to help beginners, it's, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit dangerous. It's a bit dangerous because you are starting out. You don't know what's out there <laughs> and you don't have the experience of comparing different girdies, different instruments, of feeling uh, how, how a girdie feels. And then, yeah, you can assume what you feel in your girdie is normal, but uh, yeah, you need more experience to, to recommend girdies. Sorry about this, but it, it, it can be dangerous for, for beginners. I understand you do it with your heart, but yeah, and to help, but it's, uh, and you don't have the money to spend right away or if maybe you just want to play casually if you're not looking to get into professional then make an early gordy which is 350 euros for a kit put it together and it works <laughs> um it's a good place to go i gotta say workshop medieval they were really nice to work with Catherine it was very responsive she always got back to me within 24 to 48 hours about anything a quick email uh, a, a good feedback when you're buying 
it's one thing, and then it's the other complete different thing, good instruments. You can be an asshole and make beautiful girdies. <laughs> um, pretty, pretty darn happy. Pretty darn happy. So overall... Happy for you. It's a solid choice. So. Uh... No, it's not a solid choice. Sorry, but you're wrong. It's not a solid choice. Don't buy Workshop Media. We are going to prove this by comparing sound samples. Okay? And you have it, so it's good. You can use it. You can try to learn with it, but it's not a solid choice. This is a pro player advice. Uh, let's hear how it sounds. Close your wheel cover because it will vibrate when you play. Uh, no. <laughs> You don't have to close your wheel, your, you don't have to put your wheel cover on. It actually dampens the resonance of the instrument a little bit. So I normally play without the, the cover at all. And uh, yeah, no. <laughs> and it makes a really nasty rattling sound. The nasty rattling sound, it's not normal. It's again, it's a construction fault of your instrument. So no, no, no. Make sure it's closed, all right. Star Wars! Not too shabby. In okay. conclusion, it's a great model for the price. No. And it's expensive for what it is and we are going to see it right now uh, comparing your sound sample also the sound samples from from the brand and we're going to compare them to different gordies that are out there with the same price range or less workshop medieval was great to work with turnaround time is about three to four months and overall it's definitely a good choice if you're a novice player or a casual hurdy gurdy enthusiast so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time see you <sighs> so yeah workshop medieval strikes again now let's compare this sound sample that uh, she showed us so let's watch this video this is a sound sample this <laughs> this this is a sound sample of the nerdy gurdy which is a kit that retails for 350 euros and then we will compare it with the 1000 kind of euros workshop medieval and see the difference in the sound okay not the best not the best sound in the world obviously but it's uh, 350 euros and it's a box. Let's compare without dog from the beginning of the video. Okay, you know what? Let's go to the to the oops, I'm not there. <laughs> and this is the workshop medieval equivalent model uh, around a thousand euros. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It doesn't know what he's doing, like he's trying to do the bowing, but You hear that, those kind of thing? The nerdy gurdy did not have that. So yeah, let's keep watching. Again, bad bowing, whatever. Keep 
watching. Okay, I'll keep watching. What do you think? Like comparing to the to the nerdy gurdy. You can go back and watch the the nerdy again and compare nerdy to workshop medieval. Nerdy 350, workshop medieval 1000, 1000 euros. Let's add some more competitors. More on the same price range as the as the workshop medieval. Okay, this is the TPV model by Joel Traunecker and we have Scott Marshall playing a uh, cat bear, his tune, on, on this gordy. And you can compare, this is about 850 euros here and compare. Ooh. Is it the stability in the notes? No, it's stable. I don't want to pause it. <laughs> it's so good. But well, you can you can go to Scott Marshall's channel and, and have a look on uh, the full video. It's great, Scott. Sick trumpet. I, I love it. So yeah, this is 800 euros. You can compare, compare yourself. Um, I was going to add like more samples of of different makers, but I think it's clear enough with with this comparison. Um, Workshop Medieval is the most expensive of these three options and in my opinion it's the worst. So yeah, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe, hit thumbs up to make me know you want more video reactions, keep on cranking, bye!